right, I'm Professor Ferro over at Ferro Academy in Elmer. So we're going to switch it up a little bit today. Show a little MMA stuff. Um, I don't talk a lot about it, but I am a chair MMA fighter. I was 7-0. and um, Back in the day, the last fight was probably, I think, six years ago. Um, so being off your back, no good in, in MMA for the most part. But if you're there, there there's a lot of situations that you gotta you got to know how to block a punch from your back. Self-defense, so jiu-jitsu self-defense no matter what anyway. So I'll go over a few things that I would do in my MMA training if I was ever on my back. Um, again, in MMA, street fighting, you wanna be on top. But in case you're on your back, you have to know what you're doing. And, and I even see to this day, a lot of the professional fighters, um, it seems like they don't know much to do off their back, especially if they're good high-level wrestlers. They are always on top during training, but then when they're on their back, they don't know what to do. And, um, you know, that could cause problems, especially when there's punches or anything. Else. So if we start in the closed guard, if I'm like this, we're doing MMA here. I, I have to be able to break her posture down. If, if, if she has posture, she starts throwing punches here. I start doing this. This is when I start. If she really postures up and starts throwing some haymakers, that's where I, I'm going to start getting in trouble if I have no posture. All right, so what I always like to do, what I always like to do first off was, especially if we're an MMA, our pull down, bam, rubber guard. Even if you're slippery, especially later in the rounds, if you, I see a lot of people try the overhook guard type like this. All she has to do is turn her shoulder in and get her arm out of there, especially if we're sweating. Okay, I need to break her posture down. I don't care if I come here and then I hug my knee and I just keep her down here to think and get my, especially if I've gotten rocked to get my uh, marbles thinking over here, okay? If I got clocked. So when I do the rubber guard, I just keep everything tight here. If she punches, she only has her left arm here. There's not much she's gonna be able to do from here. Okay, this is, I, I see this even in uh, the biggest fights in, in uh, the, the country where I see people leaving their arms on the ground like this like they're laying and praying and stuff but their elbows are on the ground and i'm like i'm thinking right there you have a chance to to lock their arms on the ground and, and regain you know especially uh if some of the title fights are starting so if i'm staying off my back and i'm punching and she starts posturing posture all the way up yeah now start throwing punches now i'm in trouble i can't just sit here and do this I can't, I can't just sit here and do this and try to break her posture through wild arm bars, you know? I see a lot of that. Yes, with MMA gloves, we're sticky there where we could lock them, but that's not the point. I need to break the posture, okay? Number two, how do I block a punch? If she goes to throw a punch, if I'm here, I try to take my, I try to think about bringing my knee to like my, my elbow or forearm. Throw on punch, and I'm always like this. Okay, she could hammer fist me, try to hammer fist me a little bit. Like, like this type stuff, that, whatever. She hammer fist in the center, that's fine. Bam. Hammer fists aren't going to kill me as, as much as punches. you got to know how to block punches. If she postures, throw with the other arm, I have the shins. Okay, I'm grabbing the triceps, and I have my shins blocking. Especially, again, if we're on the streets and you're in the situation, this is great to come up. Bam. Uma platas kick in the face, triangles, you know, kimuras, whatever. Okay, so let's do that again. If she's throwing, if for her, she's throwing a punch, look, block. Okay, if she throws the other way too, again, posture up and try to posture and punch. Posture to punch. And blocking. Blocking with my shins, blocking with my knee, and now I can even pull, close guard, bad. Okay, so again, we don't want to have a low guard here. Okay, so if she's on her back, I used to love ground and pound. Uh, I used my jujitsu for my fights, but I wouldn't just do it off my back. I, I love doing the ground and pound. So a lot of times if we're here, that's why I don't like to trap my arm hands on the ground. Because I worry about a rubber guard type locking my arm situation. Now, now this negates a lot of stuff I could do. So if I'm on top, I try to do this in MMA, I come here, I try to control, and now, bam, posture. That's why you gotta start, start knowing how to block. If you just block with your hands, you're gonna get knocked out. Hammer fists are gonna hurt. Punching, this is how you keep your posture. If I'm bringing all that weight on you, you have to do what I just did to block the punches. That's how I want you punching me down on me. See, you block with your shins. 
Bam, so she blocks here, grab the tricep. Tricep, just grab it. Yes, this is control, okay? So, one, one more time if she's on top. Especially if I just lay on my back, say I don't even have my guard closed. And she goes, postures up, she tries to punch. Lock. Posture up again. Punch. Lock. Okay, other hand. Lock. All right, and then we have the attacks we could do. As always, we got Uma Plata's kick, whatever, punching you could do. Okay, so just think about, think about a lot of that stuff. It's for self-defense, it's for MMA. Um, I know my channel, I teach a lot of sports jiu-jitsu. That's the point, it's jiu-jitsu, right? But at the same time, uh, no gi, you have MMA involved. You got fighting on the streets involved. So. Uh, you have to know how to block a punch, so I'll start adding some more and more as we go in my channel.